Hey, look what I got. It's it's Diet Dr. Chill. It's not even Dr. Chill. It's Diet Dr. Chill. Super Chill. Super Chill is, uh, well, it was free, first of all. But it's a uh, store brand, Super Value, which means Cub here in Minnesota. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little more Mr. Pibb than Dr. Pepper, if you know what I mean. As far as uh, fake diet Dr. Peppers go. It's alright. I would pay 98 cents for a six pack. If that's what the price was. I don't know what the price was. These are left over from a presentation we had earlier today. Presentation that went over so well. I had nothing to do with it, but I attended. But enough about work. It's, uh, what is it? I'm so tired. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's 522, 73 degrees, and I am so tired because I did not go to bed. <sighs> I stayed awake, doing nothing, looking at stuff on the internet. And ended up going to bed, what, 3.30? I don't know. I had a very lucid moment of clarity at 3 a.m., which I documented on Facebook, if you follow me there. Can't give you all this good stuff here. But that presentation was at 9, and I didn't make it. I did make it here at 9, but unfortunately I had a couple things that I had to take care of immediately. It always seems to be the case. There's something you have to take care of right now. And so by the time I got into the presentation, it was about 9.15. But free snacks, that's always good. Also means I should be leaving at 5 if I get here at 9. However, well, it's 5.20, so we'll be close. Well, I'll probably be closer to 6 by the time I actually get out, but that's okay. Uh, today is hump day, so I hope you're humping. And I've completely forgotten whatever it was that I was going to talk about when I pressed record. So let's go to the W. Hey, you know, I wonder... You know what it was? I was distracted. I logged into YouTube with the full intent of... Pardon me. Goodness. I logged into YouTube, I was going to see if I had anything there, and then for some reason it brought up WWE's boring tag teams videos, and I started watching those instead, and you can only watch The Dicks, The Techno Team 2000, and that series is from August last year, but for some reason it came up. I must, uh, this account must be associated with wrestling for some reason, go figure. But there are no comments, so it was all worth it. All right. Back to the W where there are some comments, because I was so pathetic yesterday that people responded. I did wash my hair, by the way. Can you tell? No? Should I put a hat on anyway? Look, I almost got my part even. Even. This is the same shirt I wore in the VU video. Nobody cares. Okay. <laughs> uh, I squoze in a bit about wrestling last night when I was talking about people on the West Coast and how cursed they are to not be able to watch TV live anymore because everybody on Twitter is ruining it with their East Coast feed. And that brought me to when I started recapping a subject of great interest amongst um, half of you. TNT had one feed. They didn't have a split feed. So, living in California at the time, that meant that Nitro came on at 5, and it ran from 5 to 8, and then there was an hour off, and then the West Coast feed of USA would kick in, and you would watch Raw from 9 to 11, aired from 9 to 11 on the East Coast, but three hours later, 9 11 Pacific. So that was how I got most of my recapping done in the early days, it was kind of try to handle Nitro and then use the hour to recover and then do Raw, 
trying to do raw. And then somewhere along the line, I stopped doing it live, and then it became probably about the same time that they split the feed on TNT, and I had to choose. Nitro would come on first, so I would try to do Nitro live, and then I would try to do raw on tape later. And then it kind of became write the outline, and then go back and fill it in later. Because I was working the graveyard shift at work, and there was nothing better to do anyway, so I would play tapes and type up stuff there. I don't know if I've ever shared that process with you before, but that was how my keen mind worked back then. And cannot work now, because as I was taken to task on Facebook by Cerebus, Cerberus, Cerebrum, Cerebrus, Robert, um, how can I be complaining about three hours of raw, whether it be Monday or from July 20, whatever it on, when I used to watch five hours every Monday? And the answer to that is, I'm old now. I'm no longer in my 20s and do not have all that boundless amounts of energy that I can waste on uh, recapping television. When you think about it, the role of the recapper has really kind of disappeared almost. I mean, back when I did it, back in my day, back when we relied on Usenet and text-based websites, we did so because we couldn't watch the show, and we needed something as good as watching the show. And I was wordy enough that you did not miss the show if you bothered to scour and go through the immense amount of detail that I somehow felt compelled to include in a recap. And these days you can get the show. It's on YouTube within minutes, within hours of it being on. If you're a stickler for quality, you wait maybe hours instead of minutes, and then you can get it in HD instead of in ripped stream of vision YouTube doesn't take it down fast enough. You can watch it. And... For the other shows, hell, WWE gives you the complete show, start to finish, with a minimum of commercial interruption, and sometimes taking out some of the really boring bits, as they sometimes do for superstars. You don't need a recapper. You can watch the show yourself. The only reason you would need a recapper now is if you are only interested in results, and you only have a couple minutes to get those results. You don't have 40 minutes to actually sit there and watch the show. That's why I would not make it big today. Because the kind of recap that I did back then, and it kind of just evolved to that over time. If I started today and I started writing, first of all, I wouldn't probably. So none of you would know me and I wouldn't be famous and I would probably have a hell of a lot of free time. But what I would end up doing would not be what I did back then. Just like when I try to write a recap like I did back then, as I did for ECW, as I did for ROH. People who like the style will enjoy it, but it will never be as popular as it was back then because you can just watch the show yourself. You don't need some idiot telling you what every move and every match was. So that's a bit about wrestling and recaps. And let me say one more thing. I understand that the with leather guy is the hottest thing since sliced bread, the funniest guy ever. I understand all these things because people keep saying them to me, but I still will not go read his recap because he divides it over across 11 or 12 pages, and that's just whoring out for clicks or ad views or whatever. It's just It wasn't good 20 years ago. You certainly don't need it now with the bandwidth that people have. High speed. They can load all the pictures on one page. You can put all the text on one page. You're not going to run out of internet. This bit about having to put it over 10 pages, I'm never going to read it. I'm sorry. I'm not the only person that feels that way, although it is more of an old fuddy-duddy thing. But even back then, when Mr. Scherer decided to do his recap over the course of 11 onewrestlingcom pages, it was annoying. People should have gotten over that by now. Good content should be able to pay for your page, not breaking it up to serve as many ads as humanly possible. Huh, my 10 minutes is up. Well, I'll get to more of your comments tomorrow. Thanks.